Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. Alhamdulillah, we have completed the January 2020 Architecture Design Studio 6, third year Bachelor of Science in Architecture in Utah. In my assessment, some of the students' work are exceptionally good. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at one of the best work. Uh, the project was selected as the champion for the Utah Biannual Final Year Project Poster Competition 2020. Mizan, a Kampong Baru Cultural Center. Mizan means balance in every aspect of the human lives. According to the designer, the project intends to bridge the new and old. It showcases the value of vernacular Malay architecture by bringing back the way of living in a traditional Malay village. And the implementation of traditional design values in a contemporary architecture acts as manifestation of past, present, and future. The designer of this project is Lim Jeng Ying. Her project is located at Site 1 along Jalan Raja Abdullah and Jalan Raja Buddha Musa in Kampung Baru. The design development starts from the traditional building typology, characteristics by scale, aesthetics and volume. Uh, she tried to translate this idea into the new cultural center while responding to all the site forces. Let us listen to her presentation. The project intends to bridge the new and old. It shows the values of vernacular Malay house by bringing back the way of living in the past. The values of the design and attributes of traditional architecture are revealed through the tangible and intangible character of the forms and spaces in the design. The design development starts with a traditional typology and the Malay house has a large green compound that used as a space for social interactions and also the kids' playground. So, the idea is Instead of creating a large barrier volume at this focal point in Kampung Baru, a public permeable communal space is created, offering itself as a crossable building. Site forces include the Masjid Jamek Kampung Baru, a budget hotel just in front of the site, Tamu Hotel, nearest LRT station, and also the famous food street in Kampung Baru. According to the latest master plan of Kampung Baru, the existing Malay housing area will be transformed into a heritage park. Back of the site will also be transformed into a reserved Malay enclave according to the latest master planning. As the human flow is mainly comes from these site forces, the desired lines of site access to the centre is formed accordingly. Next, these connections are then be reinforced by stretching the program to touch the corners. The edges are softened by cutting and open up and open spaces that act as catchment area for the human flow. This also helps to increase the visibility of the building as it provides a moving distance from the pedestrian walkway. Many of the arrangements of the spaces are done according to the site forces. Also imply the concept of dual compartmentalization in the Malay traditional house. A microclimate open space is created to separate the different programs, private versus the public. It acts as an effective linking device which leaves an open space between two portions, allowing good ventilation and lighting. South elevations of the site is facing to the residential area, while the north is facing to the food street and receiving the major human flow. 
Therefore, the private spaces are majorly located at the back of the site, close to the residential area, while the north site will be the main facade, the public spaces will be focusing at this area. The visitor can still access to the roof terrace after the operation hour of PKB office through the open walkway designed around the public central spaces. The separations of spaces are done by the mean of difference in leveling. In order to separate the public spaces from the main road, Jalan Raja Muda Musa, while still maintaining the permeability and visibility of the access point, a star is formed. The visitor will enter the building through the star and enter the public space before proceeding to the other spaces. The Malay traditional house has an open plan layout with minimal enclosure. The spaces are widely open. This allows the flexibility in the use of space. This flexibility which results in optimal use of space expresses the Malay simple way of living with no regard to ostentatious lifestyle. In the designs of Kampung Baru Culture Center, a large public space is created. Act as a multifunctional spaces that can cater different cultural activities which include Pentas Barsa Minggu, Temporary Exhibition, Cultural Performance, Wayang Paja, Talk and Sharing Sessions, Holiday Market, Fun in the Sun, Yoga, Wedding and Event Spaces, and also the Ramadan Square. The sustainable feature includes a microclimate modifier, rainwater recycling, stack effect, nature lighting, noise filtration, and also the cross ventilation.
there you have it everyone. I am very happy with the final results. The program is exciting and the form is refreshing. The idea of using traditional Malay house as inspiration doesn't end up with a cliché pitch roof out of proportion building. She managed to reinterpret the traditional concept into a contemporary and modern look. The final forms is iconic and appropriately scaled and can become a catalyst to future development in Kampung Baru. No doubt that there are some technical issues that needed to be studied and developed further. Access for the handicapped and elderly are also a big concern. However, overall, I think the project is well executed. The presentation images are thought-provoking. Congratulations to Lim Jengging. I wish her all the best. Uh, 20 years from now, I can foresee her as one of the more successful architects in Malaysia. If you have any comments, a different opinion maybe, please leave your comments below. Let's create a lively and positive exchange for the benefit of architecture education. Thank you. See you in the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.